All right, so today we're building the 2017 Rocky Mountain Thunderbolt 730 MSL carbon. So the new models, they've gone away from nylon bushings. They've added uh, sealed cartridge bearings to the main pivot. It now features a collet system, so pipe lock technology basically. Just reduces friction in the main pivot. Up top, we've got BC2 pivots, which are nylon, um, and now they feature grease ports. Uh, so basically, nylon bushings coupled with grease ports means a lot less maintenance for the rider, which means just more hours on the trail without having to uh, spend downtime in the shop. Another big change for 2017 is uh, we're going to see a lot more Fox suspension in the lineup. So most of the Thunderbolts, aluminum and carbon, get the Fox 34s. Last year's were 32s, so we've uh, increased the lowers and the overall size of the, uh, the forks to a 34 mil. Rocky has gone to a quick release free setup, both front and back on the axles. So now they're gonna feature Fox's Cabolt, which is basically made in association with Jeff Kabush. So essentially what that does is it uh, shaves off a little bit of weight, so there's no need for that extra quick release lever. Now you can just get your, uh, get your through axle out via a six mil Allen key. Okay, so all the 2017 uh, Thunderbolts also offer uh, sort of a uh, access hatch on the uh, base of the down tube. This allows the bike to be DI2 ready. So once you pop this out, if you wanted to run a full electronic DI2 system, you can now pop all your all your dongles, all your batteries up inside the frame, alleviating all those extra little bits uh, outside the bike. Uh, componentry this year, most of the Rocky Mountain lineup is going to come with Shimano setups coupled with uh, race face cranks. So we've got the race face effect crank up front. So essentially uh, forged CNC'd lightweight aluminum, super, super bomb proof and strong. Features the new cinch system. So it's eliminated the uh, the need for uh, a spider and a four bolt system. So now, you know, rings are more easily interchanged. Uh, if you're going to a region that's a little more hilly, a little more uh, gravity inspired, you could always pop this off. It's a self extracting crank. We're seeing uh, the new SLX 11 speed for the first time. So again, another offering from Shimano, trickle down effect. So uh, where in the past they've offered the new 11 speed setups on just XTR and XT, it is now trickled down to SLX as well. Um, so we're pretty happy to see that offering as well. It's both shadow and uh, clutch ready. So again, once the clutch is activated, you're getting a lot less chain slap. Um, Often times that basically Again, eliminates the need for any kind of chain guide system. And then of course the narrow wide teeth on the front crank, uh, keep the chain planted through the rough stuff. New for 2017 as well, they've gone up to a 2.3 in the front, 2.25 in the back, tubeless ready rim as well, which is pretty sweet. Um, and then in the back, they've gone with the Crossmark 2, just a faster rolling, lower profile tire. So kind of a, a pedaling wheel and then a, a control wheel. Um, and Maxxis uh, takes care of the rubber across the board for the entire line for 2017. Okay guys, that's basically it. So phase one done. A head mechanic's hands will be back on the bike to top up brake fluid, check things like calipers have to mount up correctly, making sure that all the pivots, the headset area, the bottom bracket, those are all lubricated. Oftentimes if it's a higher end fork, uh, especially from Fox, we want to get in there. We want to check that all fluid levels are topped up in there as well. One thing left to do, take it out on a quick test ride and then that'll be it. So that's it. I'm Nick Calcas, owner of County Cycle and uh, Cheers.